The most transformative part of my journey was being gang raped at the age of 15. Um, I think that changed my life in many ways. What bothers me is the fact that I was treated as a criminal by the society. There was so much exclusion that I was subjected to for a crime that I had not committed at all. That anger drove me into believing that I want to commit my life. I want to commit every breath in my being for somebody who's going through a situation like mine. In India, hundreds of sex crimes are committed every day. The government estimates that there are around two to three million children and women in sex slavery, which actually means that the numbers could be anything between 15 to 18 million. Dumki de ne gaan mein baan mein wo log ko baat sun ke aayi. Aayi to three din ka rasta hai. Wo log acha se kha le re, pee le re. Mere ko kuch bhi nahi de re. To main ro re to main majboor ho ke haan bolle, haan bolle to. Jab main kya karu? Aisa aisa kar ke wo log ke mere ko shida nahi nahi karega to bale se kaat deti, gadan kaati. Prajula is an anti-trafficking organization working on the issue of sex trafficking and sex crimes from rescue. Uh, to rehabilitation and reintegration. We are involved in all aspects of anti-trafficking. We also do a lot of work in prevention. The most important thing is to prevent second generation prostitution by providing educational opportunities to children of women in prostitution. We enter brothels and rescue our children and women out of uh, sex slavery. Today, even seeing a three, three and a half year old child being sold into a brothel is not very surprising. That to me is very, very scary. So rescue per se is very, very dramatic act. What is more challenging is the rehabilitation. How much time does it take? I don't know because every victim is unique. Somebody takes a day's time, somebody takes a week's time, somebody might take a couple of years' time to come to this recognition. Today, my girls have come a long way. Thousands of them have gone back to the society. They are living a very, very dignified life. Thousands of them have gotten married. Young women are trained here as builders, welders, carpenters, all of them in viable economic option. In 2015, I received two rape videos on WhatsApp. It was shocking, to say the least. I exposed the faces of the rapists, requesting the public to support me to find these sex offenders. There were thousands of rape videos in circulation. Is there a day when all this will end? I do believe, yes, this will end. That is my mission. My mission in life is to end sex slavery from this world. <laughs>